Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with the content that catches. I wanted to get into the workup action of Whangaparoa, so packed my stick bait gear to target kingfish and threw in some jigs and bait for some snapper fishing. There was some good bait sign in Whangaparoa Bay and I drifted over the schools using a Jaeger micro jig. I hooked one of the small school fish, in this case a slimy blue mackerel, which I kept to use as a butterfly bait later in the day. More drifts didn't produce much except this colourful goatfish. Good eating I'm told. There was good sign but little activity despite shifting around and trying different jigs and soft baits. On the horizon I could make out a group of boats so throttled up and headed out to see what was going on. Upon arrival I saw some sporadic bird activity and counted 20 plus boats all drifting through the area. Checking my sounder I could see bait fish for Africa. 20 meters high in the water column in some places and there were schools every 50 meters or so. Drifting with jigs I quickly hooked a marauding kawai a good sign of what was happening underneath. Suspecting more predators in the area, I tied on a hit a stick bait to try and lure a kingfish into biting. Sure enough, on my third cast I had a hit and a solid hook up on my fourth cast. Fishing over sand, I focused on gently playing him back to the boat rather than trying to stop him in his tracks. Just under a metre long, he was the right size for kingfish sashimi so in the bag he went. Chatting with a few boaties, it was obvious the snapper weren't on the bite or were somewhere else. Quite a few boats took off for the horizon where some fast workup action was happening. I decided to stay put because there was so much bait fish in the area and my instincts told me the snapper were close by but not taking my lures. I was going to switch tactics and anchor and drop some baits and wait for the snapper to find me instead. Time for smoked oysters on crackers for lunch and also time to rub in some suntan lotion. I'd set up a ledger rig and stray line rig and baited up with some red plate pillies and fresh slummy mackerel. It was time to kick back and wash the scenery until something bit my line. I didn't get much time to sunbathe before the fish found my burley and then found me. They were small fish at first with a few gurnet in the mix but soon the eating size snapper were also hitting my baits. The stray line rig seemed to get the best results. I was using a two hook rig with a strip bait and two ounce sinker to get it to the bottom. I had the burley cage sitting three meters above the bottom and tugging the burley line to release bits of fish seemed to improve my catch rate. I'd originally planned to focus on lure fishing but threw in the bait as a backup. In this case it paid off as all my best fish in the 40 centimeter range were landed on bait. It was also humorous to see most of the boaties take off for the workup action somewhere else because they didn't think the snapper were there. I almost had a full bag so pulled the plug and headed home for an early shower after it grated down the water. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.